In this pop-up PD, we're going to look at math connections in Minecraft Education, referencing an Arrays module. In this example, we'll look at the Grade 3 curriculum and the learning outcome, Students Analyze and Apply Strategies for Multiplication and Division within 100. Digging deeper, we see that multiplication can be interpreted in various ways, including using an array. And in this example, I'm going to demonstrate visualizing and modeling products as arrays. This example also aligns with CBE's mathematics framework, connecting visual, symbolic, and contextual mathematical representations. Having students build arrays through the use of Minecraft and connect their arrays to equations aligns with one of the teaching practices in the mathematics framework, use and connect mathematical representations. To access the Arrays module within Minecraft Education, click on View Library, and in the search bar, type Arrays. Select the world, and click on Create World. Upon entering the world, you'll be prompted to interact with various non-player characters, or NPCs, which will guide you through various tasks embedded within the world. Now, referring back to the Grade 3 Math curriculum, our purpose here is to allow students to visualize and model products as arrays in Minecraft Education. So for our first task, we'll interact with the Simon NPC, and he provides us with the challenge of building a 4x9 array. Now before we do that, let's get into our inventory by pressing E if you're on a keyboard, or the three dots in the bottom right-hand corner of your inventory on an iPad. Select the camera and portfolio and a block of your choosing. Now your students can begin their build placing blocks into a 4x9 configuration. Now your students can document their learning using the camera and portfolio feature. Select the camera and right click to take a photo. Next, right click on the portfolio tool in your inventory. Your students can type in a short description about the array that they completed. Now let's say a little further along the way, your students complete multiple different arrays and are ready to export their portfolio as a PDF. Click on Export Portfolio, provide a name, and save. Once students have completed the task and exported the portfolio as a PDF, they can then upload into Google Classroom. Here's what it looks like on the teacher side once you've received that PDF. This is just one of many worlds to explore within Minecraft Education. To find other worlds, click on Subject Kit and Math. I hope you enjoyed this video, and we thank you for your time.